Johnson Collin. Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're at Brabus, taking an in-depth look into the Rocket 900. As the name suggests, this is a 900 horsepower variant of the S65. It's just mind-boggling how much power this thing develops. Of course, custom tailored by Brabus for a very, very unique offering. As always, this is going to be a detailed and in-depth review of the Rocket 900. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, go with the performance data, and show you many of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start it up, and let it run. A smart key entry system comes standard. By just keeping the key fob in your pocket, you're able to utilize the touch sensors on all four door handles. To lock, just tap the little depressed square, and to unlock, just grab the back of the handle. There's also a standard soft closing mechanism for all the doors. This example is finished in obsidian black metallic paired with a lavishly appointed interior with the bespoke black and copper Brabus fine leather, in addition to the unique shadow gold finish covering every conceivable trim piece, including the aluminum components. Across the doors, dash, seat backs, and folding center console, you'll also find plenty of glossy carbon fiber. Underneath the side of the car are beautiful LED welcome lights. Now I've covered the S-Class in great depth in previous videos including the S550, S63, and the S65 sedan and X65 coupe, so we're going to talk about what makes the Brabus so unique and special and just give a recap on some of the basic features. For more in-depth looks at those cars, check out the link in the top right hand corner of the video. The electromechanical variable ratio steering becomes more direct and responsive over the steering angle. It's sharper at higher speeds and more relaxed at low speeds. The design is compact and lightweight, combining the steering gear and servo motor together on a lightweight rigid aluminum frame that's positioned in front of the wheel's center line. It's more efficient compared to hydraulic steering as it only requires energy when being steered. Two selectable suspension modes, Comfort and Sport, relaxes and stiffens the steering and suspension respectively. Recently introduced for the S65 and S65 Coupe, the new three-spoke flat-bottom steering wheel can be seen here and is a far more sporty offering than the previous two-spoke wheel. Both the wheel and airbag cover are uniquely trimmed in supple Brabus fine leather with contrast copper touches and grip bolsters at 10 and 2. Aluminum wraps around the airbag and highlights your multifunction controls before tapering across the bottom split-spoke layout. The shadow gold finishing is a unique option for Brabus. The Rocket 900 sends its power to the rear wheels through a beefy 7-speed automatic transmission, more or less the same AMG speed shift unit found in the S65. Controlling torque delivery and traction is a unique Brabus high-performance limited slip differential featuring a 40% locking rate. The transmission is routed through a small column mounted stock. To engage, simply hit the brake and pull down for drive, push up halfway for neutral and all the way up for reverse. There's a button at the tip of the stock to place it in park. There's three different driving programs activated by a button in the center console, including controlled efficiency, sport, and manual. Controlled efficiency gears the car for better overall fuel economy in addition to activating the auto start stop feature. Sport mode raises the shift points and decreases shifting times by 30%. Shift times in both sport and manual occur in just 100 milliseconds, accompanied by rev matching downshifts, with manual mode allowing you to shift by the aluminum panels and maintain the selected gear at full throttle all the way to redline. The big, aggressive-looking hollow paddles are also unique to the Brabus model. The Mercedes S-Class has always been referenced as the luxury standard of the world, combining a level of engineering, refinement, and technology that's hard to beat at any price point. Each new S-Class that debuts is expected to raise that bar, elevating it to the next level with pioneering advancements in automotive technology. 2014 marked the introduction of the all-new 6th generation S-Class, known internally as the W222. The all-new S-Class sets itself apart from the rest with many automotive firsts. It's the first production semi-autonomous vehicle that has the ability to drive itself for brief periods of time, it's the first all-LED automobile, and it's the first to detect the road ahead to automatically adjust the shocks for rougher roads thanks to magic body control with road surface scan. 
In designing the new S-Class, there are three engineering paramounts. Intelligent drive, efficient technology, and the essence of luxury. To live up to the brand's the best or nothing slogan, the new S-Class had to be a cut above the rest in just about every aspect. While it won't offer as sporty of a driving profile as some other offerings in the class, it's one of, if not the most comfortable. Brabus was originally founded in 1977 by Klaus Brackman and Bodo Buschmann. The name comes from the first three letters of their last names. The company is the largest Mercedes tuner other than AMG. Their focus is to create insane levels of power and performance through extensive modifications internally and externally, along with unique styling upgrades and bespoke interiors. No request is too far-fetched. Customers can either buy their cars directly from Brabus or bring the cars for various conversions. They even have a classic department, but we'll cover that in a separate video. The styling and general silhouette of the new S-Class is simply beautiful, appearing more elegant and sculpted than the previous generation. Unlike the more traditional styling of the Audi A8 and BMW 7 Series, the S-Class follows more of a coupe theme, combining a powerful sense of length and width with seductive curves and flowing lines. The new grille makes a big statement with a unique twin bar design in V12 cars. The S-Class is also the first all-LED vehicle, including the LED adaptive headlamps and LED tan lamps, making up just a portion of the over 500 LEDs throughout the vehicle. The Rocket 900 builds upon the unique cues that set the V12 and AMG cars apart from your standard offerings with upgraded bodywork designed to minimize aerodynamic lift over the front and rear axle, while introducing one of the most aggressive packages you'll find in this class. Various components feature exposed carbon fiber available in glossy or satin finishes. You've also probably noticed all of the shadow gray glazing on all of the chromed exterior trim elements, including the grills, window surrounds, emblems, and more. It's especially cool in person and gives the car an even more sinister look. A special Brabus Sport Control Unit for the suspension lowers ride height of the Rocket 900 by 15 millimeters, or about 0.6 inches without compromising ride quality. Like the S65, the front fascia features large intakes with distinct mesh lower grills and a pronounced lower splitter, but the Rocket 900 features a larger carbon fiber front splitter with air flicks at the outer edges to help smooth air around the front wheels. Component cooling is facilitated by carbon fiber winglets on the outer intakes, while a gap above the splitter sends air to a separate oil cooler. Equally aggressive side skirts stick out from the body, leaving out the S65's chrome strip and feature Brava's logos at the rear. The fenders and side mirrors also get carbon fiber styling treatments. Out back, the Rocket 900 features a signature sports exhaust system the quad outlets, notably more aggressive than AMG's exhaust system on the S65. Of course, the rear fascia is completely unique, integrated in a carbon rear diffuser with Formula One inspired rear fog lamp. It's all finished off with a carbon fiber deck lid spoiler. As we've covered in previous videos, for the first time, all body panels are now made from aluminum. Aluminum also makes up many of the suspension components and structure to decrease unsprung weight, complemented by lightweight forged wheel options. Lightweight high-strength steel makes up the majority of the passenger compartment for an extra level of protection and rigidity. The seats are lighter, while the spare tire well is even made from carbon fiber. This all helped the new S65 drop around 220 pounds or so over the outgoing model. Torsional rigidity has also been improved by 50%. The dimensions haven't changed much, an increase in height of 0.8 inches and width by 1.1 inches, with an improvement in weight distribution of 52% in front and 48% in the rear. AMG cars utilize a lithium-ion battery, which saves about 44 pounds over a traditional battery. High-performance carbon ceramic brakes are available for greater stopping power and resistance to heat. To make the car even more engaging to drive, AMGs in general feature unique suspension geometry, with greater negative wheel camber, a larger rear anti-roll bar, and stiffer lower subframe. In the US market, all-wheel drive is an option for the S550 and standard on the S63. The S65 is offered exclusively in rear-wheel drive. The Rocket 900 is available with a variety of lightweight forged aluminum wheels. This one features the beautiful Monoblock F Platinum Edition wheels that are also finished with the shadow gray glazing you see on the rest of the exterior trim pieces. A 9 split spoke design with beautiful detailing in the Bravis logo in the center cap. The asymmetric design measures 21 by 9 inches in front and 21 by 10 and a half inches in the rear, wrapped in Continental High Performance tires measuring 255-35 in front and 295-30 in the rear. The standard brakes on an S65 consist of two-piece internally ventilated cross-drilled and slotted discs measuring 15.4 inches in front with six piston fixed calipers and 14.1 inches in the rear combined with a single piston floating caliper and an electronic parking brake. 
Carbon ceramic brakes are also offered as shown here with unique orange Brabus calipers in this case. The front discs measure a massive 16.5 by 1.57 inches while the rear measures 14.2 by 1.26 inches, offering superior heat fade resistance as well as stopping distance, which I estimate to be from 60 miles an hour and about 110 feet. The carbon ceramics also weigh about 20% less for enhanced suspension and steering response thanks to less unsprung weight. As far as the suspension, it's a fully independent four-wheel multi-link setup with standard two-mode driver adjustable dampers and magic body control to counteract road imperfections. We covered that a little bit more during my in-depth review of the S65, so that link can be found in the top right-hand corner of the video if you want to check that out more in-depth. Overall length is 206.5 inches with a width including the mirrors of 83.9 inches and a height of 58.7 inches. Wheelbase is 124.6 inches while curb weight compared to the S65 is probably about the same, around 4,900 pounds. At the heart of the Rocket 900 is a bespoke power plant that builds upon AMG's potent 6 liter or 5980cc N279 twin turbo single overhead cam V12 that powers the S65. It sits underneath a glossy carbon fiber engine cover with a small plaque that bears the signature of who assembled it. Like AMG, everything is done by hand. The standard AMG motor already produces an incredible 621 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque, and features a bore and stroke of 82.6 and 93 millimeters respectively. With a comprehensive redesign inside and out, the Bravus V12 features a billet crankshaft with a longer 90 millimeter stroke and a larger 83 millimeter cylinder bore, increasing displacement to 6.3 liters or 6,233 cc with matching forged pistons and precision balanced custom billet connecting rods. The two stock turbos, which crank out 22 psi of boost, have been replaced with ones that have larger compressor units and larger turbines that flow up to 30% more air, pushing between 23 and 26 psi of boost during normal driving and up to 29 psi on overboost. The bespoke two-piece intake system consists of wider pipes and high-flow Brabus foam filters that pair to a unique carbon fiber air catcher system when the hood is closed. This ram air effect of the grill helps the system take in around 2,200 pounds or 1,000 kilograms of cold air per hour in a controlled manner. Lowering charge air temperatures even further is the Brava's signature gold heat reflection sheathing on the intake pipes. Like the AMG motor, there's a total of 36 valves along with port fuel injection and a compression ratio of 8.5 to 1. The block and heads are made from aluminum with reinforced multi-layer steel head gaskets. Other highlights coming from the standard motor include an aluminum crankcase, a multi-spark ignition system, air-to-water intercoolers, and a standard eco-start stop feature for a bit of fuel savings. The Rocket 900 develops 900 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. While the engine is capable of delivering 1,106 pound-feet of torque, it's electronically limited to 884 pound-feet or 1,200 newton meters at 4,200 RPM. That's more power and torque than a Pagani Huayra and an increase of 279 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque over the already impressive S65. Brabus claims the Rocket 900 can accelerate to 62 miles an hour in as little as 3.7 seconds, 124 miles an hour in 9.1 seconds, and reach a top speed in excess of 217 miles an hour or 350 kilometers per hour. As far as fuel economy ratings, I'd estimate it to be similar to a standard S65, if not perhaps a bit lower, somewhere in the neighborhood of 13 miles to a gallon in the city and 20 on the highway. Premium gas is required and is held within a 21.1 gallon tank. Spent gases flow through Brabus developed 80mm or 3.1 inch diameter exhaust manifolds and Imitech high flow catalytic converters. Past that, there's a 3 inch diameter stainless steel exhaust system with actively controlled butterfly valves. Like other similar systems, this allows you to manage the sound either loud and proud or quiet and reserved via a press of a button on the steering wheel. On the left hand spoke, the up and down arrows, which correspond to your driver information system, also control the exhaust. By holding the up arrow for a couple seconds, you'll hear one beep, indicating the valves are now open. Holding the down arrow in the same way closes the exhaust, accompanied by two beeps. The car sounds absolutely incredible regardless of the mode. It's extremely aggressive in its open setting.
then hold the bottom arrow for a couple seconds and that closes the exhaust. Along with the performance enhancements, the transformation from S65 to Rocket 900 includes a complete interior redesign, essentially removing every component including the seats, carpeting, dash, and door panels, leaving no surface without a custom touch. Buyers can custom spec everything from leather colors, stitch patterns, embroidery, and more, a similar concept to Rolls-Royce where no request seems impossible. Without a doubt, this is the most luxurious S-Class I've ever sat in to date. As hard as it may be to imagine, Brabus has actually elevated the Rocket 900 to a level above the S65 in terms of its luxurious appointments. Not only that, but the interior changes create a decidedly sporty environment to go along with the exterior's aggressive demeanor. The attention to detail can only be truly appreciated in person. It's some of the best I've seen in recent time. Everything is handmade and held to the highest degree, exemplifying the staff's true passion for craftsmanship. For example, the S65's diamond quilted Napa leather, which already looked breathtaking, is completely swapped out for a combination of black and copper mastique leather that offers extreme suppleness and preserves the level of comfort you expect out of an S-Class. Subtle contrasts including different colored seams, stitch patterns, and piping can be found throughout. Like the standard cars designed to make you feel more relaxed than you were before your journey started, only Bravis introduces some welcomed excitement to the mix. To say build quality is excellent would be redundant. After all, it's what you would expect out of something that costs around half a million dollars. Everywhere you touch, you're greeted by soft touch material. The contrasting colors and glossy carbon fiber is a real visual treat. Leather lines the door panels, dashboard, center console, and headliner. If desired, you can also opt for a black Alcantara headliner. Throughout this example, you'll see the available shadow gold glazing on even the most minute of trim pieces, replacing every little bit of satin chrome bright work that the S-Class offers. It's so distinct and so intricate, I just couldn't get over how cool it was. All of this really emphasizes the Rocket 900's solid, premium, and modern interior. The seat cushions are unaltered from what you'd find in an S65, so they still coddle you with an abundance of support and soft contours. On the front doors, you'll find all of your basic power seat controls including heating and cooling, a powered thigh extension, adjustable headrests, and seat belts. More detailed fine-tuning of the lateral support, lumbar, and the hot stone active massage features are all controlled within the infotainment system. All other commonly used power accessories, including the windows, mirrors, locks, and memory settings are also located on the doors. I love the styling of the seats, combining the color accents with perforations and rib portions. All of this can still be said for the back seat as well, which boasts limousine-like interior space befitting of a full-size executive luxury car. Small Bravus fine leather tags decorate the backrests, while Bravus 900 is embroidered on the headrests. The aluminum illuminated door sill entry guards display Bravus while the floor is covered by logoed leather and carpet mats with accent stitching. Of course, there's also aluminum sport pedals. The steering wheel is powered tilt telescoping with auto recalling and heat. A panoramic glass roof is standard. The S-Class's LED interior lighting is offered in a variety of colors and gives off a breathtaking display at night. We covered the spectrum in my S65 Coupe review, so that link can be found in the top right hand corner of this video. If that's not enough luxury for you, the S-Class has a built in perfume atomizer in the glove box that can disperse your choice of four various fragrances that are all formulated to not stick to your clothes or interior materials. 
The rear seats benefit from a similar multi-contour design like you would find in the front, including full power adjustment with sliding, reclining, and adjustable headrests, in addition to heating and cooling, powered lumbar, and hot stone active massage. This example features the executive seating, which in addition to all the other adjustments, the passenger side gets an extendable ottoman. You're able to push the front passenger seat forward and really kick back and relax. It's quite awesome in person. Like the front, most of the controls can be found in the doors, otherwise there's two large high-res infotainment screens for each passenger that can be independently controlled via two remotes. All windows feature laminated safety glass, while the rears all have power retractable sunshades. Each door has the same controls that allow one person from either side to control the window and sunshade on the opposite side of the vehicle, in addition to the rear and overhead sunshades. As if you expected anything else, the back seat is absolutely huge. I'm 5 foot 10 inches and just based on my interior space, I would imagine people well over 6 feet would be more than comfortable. Just like the front, the back seat attention to detail is fantastic. I love all of the high gloss carbon fiber across the doors and the accents across the seat backs. As far as storage, there's seat back pockets and small cubbies in the bottom of the door panels. The shelf beneath the rear window wraps around the rear seats and flows like a waterfall into a full-length center console. Of course, everything is wrapped in leather with the color accenting and plenty of LED ambient lighting highlighting key curves. Open up the console and you also have a refrigerated cool box. The center console features more high gloss carbon fiber trim. There's two different size cup holders that are both heating and cooling. Right behind that, there's two 12 volt power outlets as well as a built-in phone dock. In the front of the console is the rest of the controls for your quad zone electronic automatic climate control system. Within the main console, there's two foldable trays that you can pull out if you need something to write on or set a computer. There's also some media inputs, two USB ports, and an AC household outlet. You can also see one of the remotes. The trays are pretty self-explanatory in how they unfold. Everything locks in place, so it's all nice and secure. Of course, just like the rest of the trim pieces, they're also painted to match that gold hue. There's coat hooks up in the headliner and B-pillars, B-pillar mounted air vents and reading lamps, not to mention LED illuminated vanity mirrors. Like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I've covered the new S-Class in great depth in previous videos including the S550, S63, S65, and S65 Coupe. So all of those intricate features within the infotainment system, the speedometer cluster, and all the nooks and crannies throughout the entire interior have all been covered before. So if you want to learn the ins and outs of how to work everything, be sure to check out those video links. They can all be found in the top right hand corner of this video. I wanted the primary focus of this video to really focus on what was so special and unique about the Brabus product compared to your typical AMG. While just skimming the surface and giving a quick recap on some of the more important features in the new S-Class. For example, featured here is the top tier high-end Burmester 3D surround sound system with 24 speakers and 24 separate amplifier channels that put out 1,540 watts, easily discernible by unique tweeters mounted in the tops of the doors, accented by LED lights that rotate 360 degrees, adjusting for the best sound. It's easily one of the most powerful, crisp-sounding audio systems I've heard to date. It's all routed through the newest generation Mercedes Command infotainment system, utilizing a rotary controller in the center console and a new touchpad interface that offers smartphone-like features such as swiping, pinching, writing, and more. Of course, you can't forget the dual digital displays. The one on the right houses the infotainment system, while the left is your unique Brabus instrument cluster, featuring a higher top speed along with your available night vision camera and driver information system. Out back, the S-Class features 16.3 cubic feet of cargo space, which should be plenty to haul a couple sets of golf clubs or take an extended vacation. The trunk lid is fully powered as standard with polished entry guards and a storage net to the right hand side with a first aid kit. Plenty of LED lighting keeps things super bright at night. There's also a Brabus embroidered floor mat. With the built in refrigerator though, it does take up some additional trunk space. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Brabus Rocket 900. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.